like her to keep up with their education. There were no voters there. There was no cameras there, but Chris was there. Ladies and gentlemen, the next mayor of Las Vegas, Chris June Kelly. Got it! I learned. The kids taught me. <laughs> Welcome to the heart of Las Vegas. And this is the heart of Las Vegas because it's the downtown core, the old Huntridge area, the John S. Park area. But what it represents is what Las Vegas has been and can be. And that's part of the jewel of what we I'm running for office for. Gary and I lived for 23 and a half years just down the street on 7th and Bracken. Now, five years later, we moved down the street eight blocks away. We have been coming to this town, this area, for as long as we can count on to support local businesses. As you rebuild not your downtown only, but the east side, the west side, and the northwest side, what you do is you build a community. Las Vegas has so much to offer, but it takes parents, it takes neighbors, it takes small businesses, it takes youth, it takes all of us working together. It's easy to walk away from a problem. It's much more difficult to decide what the problem is, focus your energies on it, and get it done. As mayor, I want to build a community, a neighborhood at a time. And the way you do that is respecting the diversity, applauding the diversity that's out there, and recognizing that together we can make a difference. The small businesses, when Wes first put this in, Gary and I think we're the first people that actually came here and ate in the restaurant. But this what used to be Tinoco's. How many people remember no Tinoco's? All right. Do you know where Tinoco's first started? Down by the muffler shop, okay? Gary and I were one of the first. We follow small businesses as best we can because that's the backbone of America and that's one of the ways that we bring people back. We should re reach out to our community and say, you know, you've got a small business, how about adding a second one? Where, would, where should we be locating? Where can we support you so that you can make your funding? Because too often we stick businesses in places where they can't be successful. There's not enough people, there's not enough traffic. And that's part of the problem. The, the, the city of Las Vegas can actually put together people that act, match business to zoning, can match business to retail, can match business to community. And that's what we haven't done. I found out that the city of Las Vegas and their redevelopment department has somebody that does that. Guess where they're located? California. Mm. <laughs> business consultants are located in California for the city of Las Vegas. That is unacceptable. So what I want to do is roll up my sleeves, do what I've always done, create pride zones, bring neighborhoods together, respect each other's diversity, and bring this city back. And I, I will do that with all of you. This will be a very low turnout. Voting starts next Saturday. Every vote will count. With 18 people in the race, there's, I, I cannot see how one person can make it in a primary in that, if that's the case. And the way we're looking at it is, this is just another opportunity to make more friends, get more people involved, and make sure that people understand that this is their government, not my government. This is the government of the people, and we're going to do it by grassroots, by making sure that we're all of you have a voice. And as mayor, I pledge to you, my door will be open. I will be riding my Sears pink huffy to work, which I do to the county. Now that the weather's nice again, I have to hop back on that. But really, you have to practice it by local, shop local, think local. We have to promote this town into one of the friendliest, cleanest, greenest communities in the United States. And I think we have every opportunity to do that. Look at this weather. This is Vegas. Let's start promoting it. Thank you and thank you for being here and happy birthday. I, I, now to Astrid and Derek and uh, Mallory, but now I'm hearing there's about five or six other people that have birthdays this month. Who else had month? Pisces, oh my gosh, Susan, okay, and and mom, Barbara, you have birthday too. And Andrew, happy birthday, everybody. Oh, it's celebrate. This is a good time for us to all come together, and thank you for your support. Have a great evening.